some of us uh, take the action of fasting as a chore or as something happy that is d uh, to be done with as a countdown as it makes our routine a lot harder living in Western society compared to the ease that is given in Muslim countries during this month. Right. How can these people truly reap the benefits of this blessed month? One is realizing that the Prophet وسلم, called the person who, the mujahid is the one, who even when they don't want to do it, they still do it. And even if they do want to do it, they don't do it. For the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who they, they wanted, they're, the mujahid is the one who they do something out of obedience to Allah, even if they don't want to do it. And they don't do something out of obedience to Allah, even if they want to do it. This person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, excuse me, the Prophet ﷺ called a mujahid. And I'm going to use the word, so this is a warrior, mujahid is a warrior. I'm going to, I'm going to insert the phrase spiritual warrior. This person is a spiritual warrior. For you to fast and you know that you don't have any support, it's exhausting through the day, you don't have breaks, your meetings are still going to start at 8 a.m. even if you've been awake all night long, both in tarawih and then waking up early to take care of your kids. And then you have meetings all day. And then by the end of the day, you're so exhausted and you make iftar and you wish you could go for tarawih for hours, but you have to work early in the morning. Or if you have children who, mashallah, you know, they're up early in the morning, they're ready for the day, they want you 24-7, they're not going to give you a break. <laughs> they're kids and so it's very understandable that fasting becomes exhausting it is exhausting it's exhausting that's why the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not mentioned the reward of fasting is not mentioned it's something that Allah rewards you for it's just something that protects you from the hellfire it's something that brings Jannah closer it's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves a special reward for you for and so when you think about all of those things when it comes to fasting Hopefully, it will help us understand that when it's so easy, alhamdulillah, that's great, that's wonderful. But also, when it's so hard, the reward is also there. So yes, wouldn't it be amazing if we all got to be in Mecca or Medina all of Ramadan? Wouldn't it be so amazing if we could just do nothing but wake up for suhoor, pray in the masjid, in the haram, fast all day, take a nap at the, in front of the Kaaba, like wake up and pray, eat the dates that they provide in Mission and Nabawi with the Zamzam water, and then pray to the Weeh, and Allahu Akbar. How sweet does that sound? It sounds so sweet. And inshallah, we will all be blessed with so much, so many experiences like that. But the fasting of that person is very different from the fasting of the person who all day long they're on their feet with very little sleep. They're trying their best to pray their prayers with focus while there are little people pulling their hijab off as they're in sujood. And someone else screaming mom and trying to make salah in between meetings and just trying not to have brain fog when you have to lead a project and trying to take exams while you're fasting. How can you not see the reward of this person? And that person is probably you. So imagine it from the lens of think about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. Someone who is a spiritual warrior. Someone who could choose not to do this, but they do it. Someone who could choose not to do it, but they do it. Don't you know that Allah SWT is as shakur, the appreciative? Don't you know how much he appreciates that from you? SubhanAllah, he appreciates what you are doing. And of course he appreciates the person who leaves everything to go to the, to the Kaaba. Of course. But the fasting of that person is probably, unless of course medically there's are issues, is probably a lot easier than someone who had to fast with all their responsibilities. And may Allah honor both of those circumstances with a great reward from him.